The thing about the transgender sodomite LGBT ideology and agenda is that uh, they will cry victim as they're punching you in the face. Or I'll put it this way, they'll cry out in pain as they punch you in the face. What do I mean by that? Well, because their little modus operandi is always been, always want to be able to do have two consenting adults do what they want in the bedroom. Now it's gotten from gone from that to then, of course, now we want to marry. Now you must wear the pride armband or you must participate in pride month or else we're going to ruin your life. You know, so, it, it, you know, it's a kind of thing where it's like they cry about freedom, but it's only freedom for what they believe. See, if you object, then you shouldn't have any freedom. They want to take away your freedom because you supposedly oppose a threat to their freedom. It's a warped, kind of twisted, inverted reality to where uh, basically not participating in their events is somehow harming their freedom. It's a bunch of garbage. Like I said, they will cry out in pain as they're punching you in the face. You know, they'll talk about love wins as they try to like ruin your life for not for simply just saying, hey, I don't agree with it. I don't want to participate in it. You know what I mean? It's, it's basically, it's the most anti-freedom thing ever. See, the, the LGBT lobby is one of the biggest dangers to freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of association, freedom of the press, because they are, are so, so thin-skinned that like pretty much any kind of slight indiscretion, pretty much anybody who's not bowing down to them and just basically doing everything they say, doing whatever they want, merely saying, hey, I support, like even someone were to be like, hey, I support your your uh, whole little thing going on, I support your right to do what you want in the bedroom, uh, but I don't want to participate in your pride rallies. Well, then at that point, you're somehow still persecuting them. It's a bunch of garbage, this victimhood mentality. You know, again, crying out in pain as they're punching you in the face. And pretty much it's gotten to the point where like, they're still acting like some kind of threat in an oppressed minority, even in a country where the government endorses them every single major corporation puts out gay pride merchandise and everything else but yet there's still somehow some kind of threat in the press minority when there have been many cases of people being arrested for exercising freedom of speech and objecting to it or saying hey i don't agree with it or you know it's it's a bunch of garbage it's just this, this persecution complex is through the roof you know they violate freedom of speech they violate uh actual freedom and liberty under the guise of protecting their freedom and liberty. See, your freedom comes with the cost of their freedom. Plain and simple, that's the truth of the matter. So I wanted to point that out. The LGBT lobby, the homosexual sodomite lobby, the transgender lobby are the biggest self-victimizers ever. Everything is persecution, even in a, in a homosexual friendly country like Canada. So I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.